But for me, um, there's only really, I mean, there's personal and then there's professional. Yeah. For me, uh, I try to keep personal at bay so I don't ever have to get to that point. I surround myself with people that I know are of purpose, people mm -hmm. that are very much aligned with my mindset, with my principles. And that's mm -hmm. really important to me is the principles. Um, if they're not within that scope, then personal, um, I take care of it very quick, very easy. Um, it, it's very straightforward for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it's also like, it's not a selfish thing. I think people get that twisted. I think it's more so... Um, your vision, your goals, your alignment mm -hmm. needs to match. Right? Life is too short to waste it on, on moments, on toxic situations and relationships that may not, um, uh, may not contribute to your larger goal, larger picture, mm -hmm. um, or where you want to be. Because you know, especially when you're under a lot of like pressure and stress, and you do feel like the world is crumbling, get it out of your brain. Get it out of your brain and write it down. I was like, you'll be so surprised about, you know, what issues that you've been experiencing that you think are just so big and so layered and are really, you know, having a big impact on you. And just let's say overall morale on a day-to-day -day basis, you write them down and it's like, you know what? It's actually not that bad. And maybe you write down the solution or what you're going to do to fix it. And then you're just one step closer to kind of being your, your more optimal self, let's say. Whatever you created, really ain't no limit. You just got to love it. Working day and night, it's all about the bitch of hustle. Hey, bitch of hustle. Time to take it to the next level. Let's go. And we're live. Welcome back to Venture Hustles. This is Saj, your co-host. Uh, today we're taking a slight detour. We're venturing into a space every entrepreneur knows but rarely talks about. Feeling lost. It's uncharted territory filled with uncertainty, doubt, and fear. Jack and I, my co-host, uh, will be getting real with you. Sharing some personal journeys uh, through these cosmic voids. But before we buckle up, do us a favor. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you won't miss uh, any of our ventures together. And on YouTube, we're almost at uh, 7,000. So uh, get us over that hump mm -hmm. so if, you, if you haven't yeah, subbed just yet. about. We're like yeah, a hair away. We're a hair away. Mm -hmm. So uh, get us over that hump if you're watching us on YouTube. And if you're on any other audio platform, follow us mm -hmm. on Spotify, Apple, Apple uh, Podcasts, and every other platform that you're listening to if you're somehow listening to us on Stitcher <laughs> or whatever. Um, whatever. Whatever your poison, hit that follow and subscribe button. We're ready to go. Oh, yeah. So deep topic for today. Yeah. Um, I think you, you said it best here uh, in, in the intro. Um, rarely t spoken about. Definitely something that every person in business or, you know, on their entrepreneurial journey will face eventually m on many occasions, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure. I was just going to say I'm excited to talk about it, I guess, surely. Uh, but, you know, again, something that's definitely super important, you know, because you got to get through the abyss uh, and go through the valley. Yeah, you know? I think, uh, you know, feeling lost. What is it? What does that mean? Um, you know, I, when I think about it, I think people when they say that they might be questioning their purpose. They mm -hmm. might be questioning their position or their place in wherever they are, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever the conditions the circumstances are what does that mean right so uh feeling lost feeling adrift mm -hmm. what, what does that mean to you um I, I would agree with what you mentioned i think um maybe some things i would add to that would just be doubt like personally yeah um i think purpose definitely has a lot to do with it but i think mainly for me it's 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 doubt um and uncertainty about let's say are you doing the right thing or are you good enough? Um, and then a lot of that I think also has to come from like your reflection mm -hmm. and you know, like the reflection part of it is kind of where you start to find, you know, those seeds of fear or doubt. Um, I think that would probably be my, my take on that, you know, for sure. Um, now, have you ever come across any moments like that in your, you know, in your, your journey as you've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years now have mm -hmm. started, uh, many companies, mm -hmm. um, maybe share an example or a feeling, let's say along your journey here. Wow. Um, 
<laughs> me personally, if, I mean, of course, mm -hmm. who hasn't, right? Yeah. Um, if someone said that they haven't or they've never felt that way, uh, they'd be lying. I think no matter what, even if you're not an entrepreneur, even if you're... You uh, haven't pushed the needle, I don't think, if you haven't felt that way. No, you, they felt that way. They just maybe mm -hmm. didn't acknowledge it. Everyone feels that way. Mm -hmm. Even in school, you feel that way. Even mm -hmm. when you're in middle school, a teenager, anything. <laughs> but you go into soccer practice, you're feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Fair. There's so many different uh, elements to it, right? But for me, um, there's only really, I mean, there's personal and then there's professional. Yeah. For me, uh, I try to keep personal at bay so I don't ever have to get to that point. I surround myself with people that I know are of purpose, people mm -hmm. that are very much aligned with my mindset, with my principles. And that's mm -hmm. really important to me is the principles. Um, if they're not within that scope, then personal, um, I take care of it very quick, very easy. Uh, it, it's very straightforward for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it's also like, it's not a selfish thing. I think people get that twisted. I think it's more so um, your vision, your goals, your alignment mm -hmm. needs to match. Right? Life is too short to waste it on, on moments, on toxic situations and relationships that may not, um, uh, may not contribute to your larger goal, larger picture, mm -hmm. um, or where you want to be. So yeah. I think you have to take care of that yourself. So personal yeah. doesn't, kind of belong there for me so i wouldn't really say i felt a drift uh, on, on that regard now you might be feeling that type of way uh with a relationship like a spouse or a partner or uh, a girlfriend or a wife or whatever whatever mm -hmm. it is or your mom or uh, anybody that's direct and you just have to address that right yeah. i think you just have to be able to deal with that head on mm -hmm. now on a professional standpoint where i stand on that regard um i think my biggest key point my most pivotal change was seven years ago when uh my my brother passed away um when that happened i had a very vivid moment of realization of what my purpose was and again i've been contemplating that since my early startup days and uh, yeah. i was on that journey of let's say self-discovery. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of that has to be rooted within figuring out your why, your purpose. And we've talked about this. Mm -hmm. um, but the reality for me is it's always been the same. It's always been a central focus of figuring that out because everything revolved around it. But it was really solidified uh, to me seven years ago when that happened. I can tell you from seven years till now, even in my darkest days, even in my worst moments, even in the most difficult moments I've ever dealt with in business uh, or even, let's say, financial stuff, ups and downs, that's the world of business. I have never once since that moment ever felt like I was lost or adrift. Mm. Uh, that's because professionally, my purpose, my why is aligned. I know exactly what I need to do. I don't care if everything goes according to plan or everything doesn't. Or, or every uh, or, or all fails mm -hmm. that doesn't change so okay for me that is a very strong rooted um purpose within my belief system and uh what i need to do and why i was uh put on this planet wow now dare i ask what might that purpose no. be well I, not, not something that uh, this it's one of those things that i can't, personal it's personal, um, and I choose to make that be a purpose that I would like to um, show the world, not tell it. Move in silence. Love that. That's kind of been my my goal since seven years ago. Love that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not just you. It's I've a lot of people. I've had uh, a, this is something that a lot of people that are thinking, which is really good. Um, I've had a lot of my nephews, my family members, the mm -hmm. younger ones that came to me over the years said, "Hey." Um, how do you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. How do you figure out your love? And it was the same answer. I wouldn't tell them what it is. I wouldn't tell them the details of what it is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of general gist of this. And I think it can be personal. It, yes. it doesn't have to be publicly shared to the world. I would agree. Um, not every, I think moving the, the power of moving in silence. And if you have a, a broader goal and an end goal and a picture mm -hmm. is incredibly strong. It's incredibly mm -hmm. valuable. And that's all that matters. Yeah. I, I would, I would certainly agree uh, with that. Um, and I, I also share um, like a similar mindset where I don't really like to tell people the goals more Joe more so just show them yeah I think it's you know a lot more personally gratifying like for me at, at the very least yeah um, but I think um, I mean on that point I don't think even people should 
I, my, my take on this is uh, who cares what people think? Mm -hmm. I, like you don't really have to show them anything. Mm -hmm. why, why does that matter? I think people make this mistake a lot. When you start worrying about what others have to say or what your or how people will reflect on your status symbol mm -hmm. or your achievements or your tasks or your growth, this is when you're going to start failing because everything is going to start depending on that. Every little action is going to mm -hmm. depend on a reaction. If you stop giving a shit mm -hmm. and you stop caring about what people say or the fact that you have to prove something to somebody, who cares? Like, uh, I, I mean, at that point, everything changes for you. At that point, your your soul, drive, and purpose will be on you. Nobody well, You're else. more in control. Absolutely. I think is, is the, the main, um, I guess, concept to grab is when you're so worried about what other people think mm -hmm. um, and you start to now act based on what people think. Yep. Number one, you have no control of what you do. Yep. But a lot of times, you know, what like what people don't understand is is that the what those people think, what you're basing essentially your actions on and whatever you're doing on, that can change in an instant. So you're kind of just on this wheel of a never ending cycle where, you know, there's so many books out there and so many people that are super old and they're on their deathbed and they're like, I didn't do what I wanted to do. You know, and I never, ever, ever want to be that person ever. Yeah. never say what if hundred mm -hmm. percent. I agree with you. And I just think that you, when you get so consumed and involved in the process of what is this person going to say, or my friends are not going to look at me different when I'm, when I'm trying something. And if I don't fail or just the fear of that, there's so many things involved in that process mm -hmm. is that people start, um, believing in it. They start realizing like it matters. People don't, it doesn't matter. And I think if people are around you when you're doing really well, or you're, everything's going positively, but then they act differently when it's not, mm -hmm. it's a direct cause and effect of the way you've positioned them to be in that, in, in that environment, which mm -hmm. is allowing them to be that way. I think if you stop giving a crap about what people say or think or, or how they look at you, you're gonna be liberated. And yeah. I feel liberated. I genuinely mm -hmm. don't give two shits mm -hmm. about what anyone thinks. If, yeah. I, if I'm incredibly successful, if I'm incredible, and, and all that matters is that you try. You know what I'm and saying? And you feel good, you and, know, and, and giving it your, your all and your 100% effort. Yep. You know, there's no worse feeling than, like you just mentioned, the what if or yep. the guilt of that. You know, there's a book out there. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I forgot the name of it. Um, but essentially, it's it was written by a nurse. I was in a nursing home. And she interviewed um, all of the, you know, elderly people on their deathbed. And she mm -hmm. pretty much interviewed them and asked them what their biggest regret was mm -hmm. and the number one regret from these people that were on their deathbed is i didn't live a life true to to me fulfilling i mean it's so powerful and just yeah. goes to say i mean especially in the world that we're in today with social media mm -hmm. everyone's life is looks glorious and all these different things mm -hmm. um fact of the matter is a lot of times it's not it's just smoke and mirrors mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. um definitely have to feel good about where you're doing and give it your all at all times yeah i mean unfortunately in the world that we're at where a lot of it is very clout based and a lot mm -hmm. of it is very persona based and, and it's just incredibly um superficial and um you know with some of the people that we know and that, that we deal with but the reality is like you have to stop caring about what other people think and i think a lot of these moments of feeling lost and adrift can root from that yes not to say that it doesn't uh there aren't other reasons mm -hmm. that people might feel that way like it might be purely on you like hey everything that i've tried has failed yeah. i feel lost mm -hmm. I've, i'm losing my purpose like you can for sure feel that way yeah but i think in moments of those it's very important and it's a very binary thing don't give up yes you only fail if you give up mm -hmm. if you give up you will never know what would have happened mm -hmm. if you didn't mm -hmm. it's as simple as that i mean that's kind of where the guilt comes in too i was know? watching the seth rogan video in an interview okay. and uh this was a clip that was recently going viral this is pretty much kind of like what this says really right which is essentially like in the space of him being an actor mm -hmm. he was like I've seen so many people that succeed that have made it so many people that have not. Um, and I could tell you one thing for sure is the people that did make it didn't quit. And, and, and the reality is that's the only common denominator. Yep. And the people that didn't make it, I don't know what the hell their future is going to look like, but we know one thing they quit. They quit. Mm -hmm. That's essentially what it is, man. Um, 
uh, can you share a moment in your journey where you yeah. felt lost? Like uh, anything that stands out? Um, I think one thing like for me that stood out and I've shared kind of bits and pieces of this through like all the episodes we've done mm-hmm. um, is probably like four or five years ago. Um, essentially, I just got burned by one of my partners. Yeah. And that was a time that I absolutely felt lost. I, I you know, I was super young um, teenager and I just. I was in that mindset of fear, uh, a lot of self doubt. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can tell you with confidence, the only way that I was able to, let's say, get out of that frame of mind was just kind of looking myself in the mirror, like, okay, what happened? Just being as objective as possible. And now, you know, something to notate here, you know, a lot of times during those situations, it's hard to be objective because it's, they're just, it's a lot a very emotionally filled like time when you're kind of feeling like that. Yep. Um, so you're not really I, thinking too rationally. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it gets cloudy. It gets very cloudy. And so two things is like legitimately and not just figuratively legitimately, like looking yourself in the mirror, speaking to yourself like yep. out loud, not just in your head. Yep. Um, and then a big thing for me that's like developed over the years personally, just like writing a lot of things out, you know, um, a lot of times, especially when you're stressed or you're in this kind of frame, you're, if you keep it all in your mind, it's, it's, it's like a, like a ping pong ball. It's just bouncing endlessly. Mm-hmm. And when you start to write these things down mm-hmm. and now you're reading them, it's like, you know what, actually, if I just did this real quick, that eliminate this and then, okay, well this, I can yeah, actually, really I can actually fix on Tuesday, yeah. you know, and yeah. start to just kind of check off the list. Yeah. I really like that. That's a really good piece of advice. And uh, I've been meaning to do that a lot, but I haven't really gotten to it. It's funny because when I went to Switzerland a couple of weeks ago, I, yeah. t- I bought a new notebook mm. just to write there and do some free writing. Yeah. Um, I learned from this book that I was reading, Seven Habits of uh, Highly, Highly Effective mm-hmm. People. They have these exercises. So I bought that book solely for the purpose of that. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to do it. I, mm-hmm. And then I tried to do it on the plane. I didn't. It's a really bad habit. I do my writing very digitally. And yeah. I used to write a lot physically and I felt really good. Yeah. But then I lost that habit after technology and everything. So okay. I tried to readapt that. I, I failed at that. I definitely will revisit that because I think the power of doing that is so strong. I do a lot of what you said digitally. Yes. But I just don't like how it feels. Um you I don't know. know. I mean, currently I do it digitally. I used to write it, but okay. like for me, like the main, let's say, uh, like hit of like the exercise is number with two things, writing it or let's say typing it, but then more so for me, like reading it back. Okay. Um, because, you know, especially when you're under a lot of like pressure and stress and you do feel like the world is crumbling. Mm-hmm. Get it out of your brain. Get it out of your brain and write it down. I was like, you'll be so surprised about, you know, what issues that you've been experiencing that you think are just so big and so layered and are really, you know, having a big impact on you and just let's say your overall morale on a day-to-day basis. You write them down and it's like, you know what? It's actually not that bad. And maybe you write down the solution or what you're going to do to fix it. Mm-hmm. And then you're just one step closer to kind of being your, your more optimal self, mm-hmm. let's say. Um, so that's absolutely something that I did do when I was kind of in that dark place personally and that I continue to do um, regularly just so that you, you don't really go back there. You know, if taking those steps to avoid a catastrophe is smart, you know. Yeah, it's well said. Um, now can you being in the, in the, in the experience that you've had being in the space, how much do you think confidence kind of plays into this equation? Um, con- I mean, about the overlap of confidence with being lost, mm-hmm. a, a lot of it is because I would say is having a lack of confidence. Okay. Um, I, I don't think this, there's a direct like having a lot of confidence isn't really going to get you out of this necessarily or not going to make you feel this way. Um, I think having a lack of confidence definitely causes this because you're not confident in your ability or your current state Mm -hmm. in being able to execute or getting out of the hole that you're in or whatever it is, or Mm -hmm. just losing purpose in general. Yeah. Um, I think it helps. 
I don't think it necessarily is the direct um, solution. I and mean, I'm only speaking from my, 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 my past experience. I think mm-hmm. when I experienced severe um, being like moments of being lost yeah. back 10, 8, 10 years ago, uh, was my in my very early days and they weren't even related to what I'm doing now and mm. they were related to my passion which was music okay um, so for me that was but I was so young and mm-hmm. I was so naive and I didn't really know how the world works yeah right when you're 19 18 17 20 you don't really know any of those things yeah so I think you, think you do you think you do but yeah. you don't really know any of those things mm-hmm. and I think for me um, it had nothing to do with confidence okay right? because I was always active I okay. was I believe that I was very talented. Um, I would like to think I am um, when it comes to musical abilities. And I think also I wasn't just sitting passively, not doing anything. But That's my, a big part of that, I think. But that's the thing. I was very active in the space. I was constantly moving, networking, recording in studios and um, doing all that I possibly could. Mm-hmm. And me being lost wasn't because of any of those things. And okay. that wasn't because of a lack of confidence either. So mm-hmm. I think it could go both ways. I think also, um, I like what you just mentioned where like the activity, Mm -hmm. because I think any and all doubt that you have Mm -hmm. about whether it's your ability, um, whether it's, let's say your, your main anchor of purpose, um, the results that you, let's say you've had or have not had. I think a lot of that is rooted in action. Mm -hmm. Action will cure almost all. And maybe dare I say all doubt that you have in yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's tremendous, you know, because the doubt will grow if you're just sitting on the couch, just kind yeah. of thinking, 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 yeah. like, go do something, you yeah. know, even if it's, if it's 1% better every day, by mm-hmm. the end of the year, you'll be quite a bit better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, again, we kind of started this episode, uh, saying that it was going to be a little bit heartfelt, a little bit on the deeper side, not really much analytical and systematic like some of our episodes are or information filled um hope you guys enjoyed this um different take from from both saj and i here yeah um as we start to wrap up you know saj any advice uh that you haven't said already that you'd like to kind of share as you wrap up or you think you've kind of expressed go ahead i i i'll share what i would do Right. If I if I if I okay. if Love I that. went through this, I think so. If you're feeling lost, or feeling like your your purpose is being questioned, or you're questioning your own purpose mm-hmm. and existence, or w- whatever you're doing, right? I think that it's really important that take some time, take mm-hmm. a little bit of a breather, mm-hmm. um, take some get some space um, from whatever it is. Take el- eliminate yourself out of that situation. Uh, let your brain have the oxygen to be able to process calm in a, in a clear state mm-hmm. um, and then do some serious thinking in mm-hmm. a relaxed state where think about I would say this is what I would do right I would think about what it is that I love mm-hmm. what what is my passion mm-hmm. uh, like I, w- I would write this down this yeah. is what you said I w- what what is that I love what is my passion what would give me gratification that I am doing something that aligns with number one and two um, in terms of being a positive contributor in the world. Okay. And number four, do not think about money. Mm -hmm. Even if your problems are rooted from money, Mm -hmm. don't think about money. Mm -hmm. Because if you just understood what I just said, it's essentially the steps to figure out what your purpose is, your why. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying this for years. Mm -hmm. Figure out your why, figure out your purpose. If you can actually take yourself out of the equation and do that, and maybe just try this this exercise out. Try doing this exercise. Mm -hmm. What I just said, even if you're not feeling lost. Yep. Take some time to think out what it is that you love, Mm -hmm. what your passion is, how can you be a contributor in the space in the world Mm -hmm. um, leaving something positive behind don't factor in money do some serious long thinking uh, write out bullet points if you have to write it in your digital notes kind of like the way I do Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's really good to have these deep moments when you can maybe I don't know go to a park go somewhere quiet where you're not going to be interrupted to actually Mm -hmm. think about this Um, because I could tell you I did this a long time ago years ago Mm -hmm. And still hasn't changed. Love that. And it 
it's my home it's my north star it's my compass it brings me back every time i could even remotely sniff that feeling and i know that if all goes to hell that's my focus so i love that i think if people can even remotely achieve what i'm saying um and maybe you'll see similar results I yeah know. i mean i agree with every single thing you mentioned only thing i would add is be extremely extremely detailed like as you're actually writing these things down like i'm talking like to the sense of like if you're writing down like the kind of impact you want to have on the world like be detailed not just like oh i want to um i want to help people in need it's like no 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 Mm -hmm. like where yeah where do you want to help them how do you want to help them Mm -hmm. you know what do you are you going to go up to to you know a family of five and and give them you know food for the next month or like as so detailed that now you're in a place where you're actually visualizing these things in your mind yep. as you're as you're writing them down. Um, that's something that that has very much will help me because you know, like you mentioned, when you do sniff that feeling, and it will happen, being that descriptive and bringing yourself back into that moment because you're so detailed, I think will. I think it get goes beyond. I agree with you. But I think it goes beyond just a feeling. Like mm-hmm. you have to understand that this isn't a moment. Let's say you go try this exercise at a park. Yeah. This isn't a moment that you need to, like it, you will know when you know. You will know that, shit, this is it. Mm-hmm. Well, when you realize, and this is not to be cheesy at all, I'm, I'm telling you what I've done. Yeah. Right. If you go to the park and you actually do this, or you go to the beach and you relax or whatever it is, right, or in your room and you figure it out. Don't let it just be a feeling. Oh man, I felt good when I thought about this. No, think of a, think of yourself as a computer and think of what you just discovered and unlocked a secret line of code that you now need to embed into your DNA. Mm-hmm. And that's how strong that'll be. It'll basically be one of the pillars of your principle. Mm. If you don't have any principles, then shit, you're shit out of luck. Maybe you can start with this. Yeah. But the reality yeah, yeah. is this will be a central focus of a lot of what you'll do. Mm-hmm. A lot of the movements that I've made in the last seven years um, has been purely based off of that. Mm. So, I love that. Yeah, I love. That. I think that's a great piece of, of advice here. And um, again, like like uh, like we mentioned before, a little bit of a, of a different feel to this episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, especially if, if you're kind of in that frame of mind. Um, you know, feel free to to reach out, and um, you know, as always. We appreciate everyone listening. Smash the like button, subscribe button for more content from both Saj and I. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Venture hustles, life is really what you make it. Building up your brand is whatever you created. Uh, really ain't no limit. Uh, you just gotta love it. Uh, working day and night, it's all about the venture hustle. Hey, venture hustles. Time to take it to the next level. Let's go.